What's up everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, you will learn how load is carried by the tire. So without spending much time, let's start now. So first we are going to see the bicycle model and then we will see the car tire. Okay, so this is your bicycle tire and it is looking good. This is the road. Note that when the spokes are attached to the rim of the tire, then all the spokes are under tension. Okay, you should keep in mind that all the spokes are under tension. Now for understanding, I am taking two spokes out of the tire, one from the top and other from the bottom. The top spoke is under a tension with a tension value of T2 and the bottom spoke is under tension with a tension value T1. Now when the tire is placed on the ground, the bottom spoke which is under tension get compressed and relaxed. So the tension in bottom spoke decreases to the value T3 and nothing happens to the top spoke. On making the free body diagram of the wheel center, we have T2 at the top and T3 at the bottom. As T2 is greater than T3, the wheel center is getting hung in the upward direction and this force is balancing the weight of the vehicle. Okay, so the bicycle is not supported from the below part of the tire, instead it is hung by the above spoke. Fine. Now let's see the car tire. So this is a section view of the tire and the rim. This is the rim here and this is the tire. And at the edges we are having the steel beads which basically helps the tire to get perfectly attached to the rim. And the last, we are having the side walls of the tire. Note, in the car tire, the tension is generated in the side walls of the tire because of the pneumatic pressure. So, in the bicycle tires, the spokes were having the tension. Here, the side walls are having the tension. Okay. Also note, the air inside the tire does not bear the load. Okay. This is important. Now, there is air inside the tire which will develop a pressure. And the pressure inside is shown by the red arrow in the above figure. Okay. So in the above and top, you can see it is shown by the red arrow. When the tire is loaded, the lower part of the tire gets compressed, which compresses the side walls, which were in tension. And this decreases the pressure at the bottom due to compression and increases the pressure at the top. This increase in pressure stretch the top side wall and which will stretch the bead attached to the rim. And this bead will develop a force and hung the tire from the top part. So the net force acting upward is F and this is supporting the load on the tire which is W. Okay, so the pressure at the top stretches the rim upwards and supports the wheel axle. So from here we get that the tires are not supported by the bottom part. They are hung by the top part which supports the load on the tire. Okay, so this much for this video. Thanks for watching. If you have any queries regarding the video, you can comment in the comment box. Do like the video. If you find the content useful, do share it and also subscribe to my channel, hit the bell icon to get the latest updates and also if you want to check my blogs on vehicle dynamics, automobiles, softwares, you can check on my website, the link is in the description box. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring.